Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Scuba Travel and Adventure Thomas here. We're packing up uh, on a day two from uh, Galena Gulch campground in Montana. Uh, it looks like it's going to rain uh, where we're going for a little bit. That's why we skipping the breakfast and coffee. We will stop somewhere where it's uh, hopefully a little bit better weather. Then we get the late breakfast and a coffee. We'll start the day this way. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below. Let's see what another day is going to bring. All right, guys, another day. Over the highway, on the highway. Hello, twisties. Alright, so we have arrived in Butte, Montana. My friend is looking for coffee, can't wait for his own coffee. Unfortunately, I'll wait. I'm not a fan of those coffees out here. So we have arrived at Butte, Montana. Quick coffee at City Brew Cafe. Nothing similar to Starbucks. Uh, but it's not Starbucks and they have the same names for coffee, Grande, Tall and so on. From here we'll be heading towards Salt Lake City and hoping to get to Moab sometime today. So there's not too much uh, going on at this moment. The weather starts improving, the sun is starting to come out here on my, uh, on my right which is from the north or northeast. It's supposed to get warmer once we get down south so the weather is going to be much much better and this morning uh, the sleep was good uh, the temperature didn't drop too far down it was I think the coldest was at 9, nine degrees Celsius. I had a great sleep uh, we went actually quite early to bed uh, we put 700 kilometers yesterday today probably it's going to be about the same so that's quite a bit and especially that we caught that uh, heavy rain and hail uh, by the end of the day before we hit um, Great Falls. Um, but after that it cleared out and uh, we were able to set up the tents, uh, it was all dry and uh, it, everything worked out. Just drove a few miles south from Butte on I-15 and the scenery is changing quite drastically here. It's a little bit different uh, landscape. Uh, it starts to look more deserty, uh, more drier, less green. It was quite chilly for a bit. And now we are at plus 19 Celsius, so the temperature is rising as further as we go south. And pretty soon, maybe another 50 miles or so, we're gonna have to start looking for another fuel. To top up the bikes we've been riding here for quite some time now it's 10:30 uh, at this moment i think we started riding around 8 and it will be time to stop somewhere to eat 
make some breakfast. We got all the stuff that just uh, we didn't want to take the chance previously as it was uh, the weather wasn't looking too promising to start making the food so we figure better pack it up and head south. Beautiful, wow. Pretty much the whole morning was cloudy and uh, just the last hour starting to improve. Weather views makes me happy. It's a big Clark's Reservoir. So that is Del Montana. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, there's an old outhouse in there. <laughs> That's wide open. It's just probably for show. And in the back, some kind of a rail station, small one. And I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see, but it says population 35 and elevation 6,007. And I'm assuming that's uh, feet, because uh, that's United States, so it should be in feet. And from here, uh, we'll be heading straight out to Idaho Falls. Just packing up still the food few antiques here god knows what that is marius is packing his enduro the sartao it's a province in brazil sartao is it uh -huh. we just also filled up the bikes here i was running on fumes we have nice blue skies not much going on in here just time to wrap it up, pack up the bikes and continue riding. The closer we are getting closer to Moab by the hour. So we have probably another 400 something miles. The sun is beating on my eyes. So we have another two miles before crossing into Idaho State. And let's hope we will not miss the sign this time. The wind is uh, quite strong now, coming from the west side. There we go, we got a sign of Idaho. Okay, so today's highlight on, the, on the today's adventure, uh, we decided to make a little loop and go through Craters of the Moon National Now Monument. So we just got off uh, Interstate 15 South. Uh, we are heading towards Craters of the Moon and we have about uh, 96 miles or less now. So it's not much uh, to take it off route, but uh, it's gonna be more scenic and especially I've seen that. I've been at this place years and years ago out when I was still driving a truck. The trucks are not allowed through here, but I did take it. And it's a pretty interesting area. Uh, once we get closer, you'll see. I'm just following the mountain range here on my, on my right. And uh, we have another 45 miles to go to Craters of the Moon. So just not that far. But before that, another fuel stop on the way. We should be getting close to Arco, so that's where we'll stop, fill up the bikes, and carry on. There's some caves on that mountain. Look at that on the right, and there's a and there's a bunch of numbers, whatever they mean. Whoa, that's expensive. Five twenty-nine, man. That is nuts.
so we almost made it uh, to Craters of the Moon. Uh, we have another 10 minutes or so to the actual spot. But as you see here on the left side and a little bit on the right, um, you can actually see the volcanic uh, field filled with lava that's overgrown with all the cactus and whatever trees are those. But uh, up there, you can actually see that. Oh yeah, now you can see up front all these black marks. And then we should see that here on the right hand side as well. The rocks are sticking out of the ground. That's a volcanic rock right there. There we are, that's the area, Craters of the Moon. We have arrived, but it, it is super windy, as always. All lava rock. So we didn't accomplish the mission of getting into the craters of the moon. The wind picked up way too much that I would like. And on top of it, they want 15 bucks just to drive around the park, which is totally not worth it to see the rocks. <laughs> the same thing what I can see here pretty much. But at least uh, that was a highlight of the day. I wish uh, the wind wasn't uh, blowing as much as it did. And it got cool actually down to 17 degrees when we went up there. It's going back to this. So the, those uh, volcanic lava, what we can see here, it's about uh, 150,000 years old. So that's not recent. Uh, that's uh, quite old stuff. And uh, I think there was about three volcanoes uh, when I read quickly on a, on a sign there that wrapped it one after another pretty much. And that's a leftover, what we see today. Overgrown with uh, desert grass. So now we're heading back to I-15 towards Salt Lake City. Uh, 
not sure we're gonna make another 320 miles today or not uh, it is uh, four o'clock at this time so I highly doubt it but we'll see how far we get we have been driving for about 25 miles now the volcanic rock on the side of the in the field we're getting back closer to I-15 and Idaho Falls so again uh, plans are changing uh, I don't think we will make it to Moab today that's not even possible uh, 427 miles left uh, after we did the detour for craters of the moon so at this point uh, once we get closer to the highway uh, we will be start looking for either like a recreational site or a campsite somewhere nearby and uh, tomorrow it's gonna be a mob that's for sure uh, even here we still have that volcanic rock as we get closer to i-15 you can still see that that's a huge area that is covered What's here hundred and fifty thousand years old i think that this is it no more lava as we are getting uh, five miles to i-15 so we are back on i-15 just uh, passing through pocatello we'll stop by fill up the bikes one more time today so they're ready for to go for tomorrow and then it's gonna be in search of the campground but if you see what's above me it looks quite dark hopefully we're not gonna get caught in uh, a rain or something like that I'm hoping for the best because it doesn't look pretty so we'll get off on this exit and fill up Creek Recreational Carrier. It started to rain, and you can see where the rainbow started. I hope that's going to be visible on the camera You can see where the rainbow is touching the ground actually So now we're in search of the campground We got, just got off the I-15 Down to uh, 13 degrees, dude. And end of the day, we're gonna still have some trail to ride. Oh, I don't think there's gonna be anybody here. That's in the middle of nowhere. search of the campground I don't believe that but it is getting late it's 7 30 so we started riding at 8 o'clock in the morning it was a quite long of a day and there we are this is the campsite
So that will be it for today and today's ride. Long, long day. I'm waiting for I'm waiting for my friend. Uh, he got lost me somewhere. I'm not sure. He also had it in GPS, but I guess he went. He made a wrong turn somewhere. I don't know where. But anyway, so this is it for today. And if you like that video, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, and of course hit the like button to help to help the YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you tomorrow in the next video. <laughs> Oh yeah.